Yo, Jurassic Five quality control, my man Charlie Tiller in the building. Yes, sir, man. So when you hear that joint, are those joints? What memory does it bring you? Ah, man. Uh, the 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 phrase "possible but not probable" <laughs> comes to mind because what we started with was me and Mark Seven going over. Cut Chemist's house with a brother named Marv Ski recording tapes and just playing around because we loved hip hop, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, something like that. Like, it, it, it was possible, no question. Yeah. But was it probable? Uh, probably not. It's kind of how we thought, but here we are today, man. And I'm just extremely grateful, for sure. How does it feel to be able, you guys did a reunion tour not too long ago. How does it feel to get in front of 10,000 people? And some of them as young as 15 years old, and they know every word that you guys spit. How does that feel? Intoxicating. Right? For sure. Yeah. It's a trip, man, because of the time and how, you know, the, the music transcends that time. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, we got fans that are our age or a little younger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and then we got, like, 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 reuniting and doing Coachella and then, you know, going on these tours that we've been doing since uh, and seeing, like, Young fans, like 15, 16, yeah. like 8, 9, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then seeing like old fans. I was in uh, just in uh, in Cork, Ireland, right? Mm -hmm. And this old man. And when I say old, oh, you know, I'm, I'm 44, man. Right? Yeah. So I'm an old man. <laughs> right? But when I say this dude easily was probably about 55, 56, something like that. Yeah. In a business suit. I'm in front of the hotel talking to this dude. We chatting away and the dude walks past and stops, turns and looks at me like I'm thinking he finna say something crazy. Yeah. Man, and he taps me, he goes, Hey, by the way, I love your group, man. You're great. You got looked, I'm like, what? Oh, what? <laughs> wow, thank you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm 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 bugged out on how good music, you know what I'm saying, transcends time. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I used to always think like, okay, can we can we make music that can last like how Earth Wind and Fire or you know what I'm saying? Like, was like, was that was that the the vision? Was that was that what you guys wanted to do? When you we guys sat down, we gonna make stuff that's that's gonna transcend the time. And 20 years from now, we gonna be listening to this music. It wasn't like we said that. We hoped it. Yeah. No question. It wasn't like yeah. we said it. But I think we were serious enough to 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 try to put our all into everything we did. Some of it didn't stick to the wall. You know how you check to see if spaghetti ready. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of it didn't stick to the wall, but a lot of it did. So. I think that that those actions, you know, are the testimony to what, what we're saying right now. Other yeah. than that, you know, it, it was never something said. Like I said, this is all like, in my opinion, you know, from a certain perspective, you can look at it like an accident. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, I'm grateful for that accident. So. so you guys had an EP and then you released your, technically your second album, which is some of the stuff off the EP. You guys released that. And then you had a third album that was on Interscope? Uh, well, what it was, was we did... Unify Revolution. That was that song. Okay. Um, uh, it was a girl who was a good friend of ours, man, from a group called Urban Prop, who had a a, a, a deal. Her name's T Love. Big up to T Love out there. Um, she's responsible for for a lot of our uh, business ventures and moves. And, uh -huh. and this particular one I'm about to say is definitely a, a milestone in Jurassic history. But she she um had a deal with this this um this company called New Groove Alliance. Now New Groove gave her a deal for two if if I'm not mistaken, this is how I understand it. She had a deal for two EPs and two singles, but she only had enough for one EP and you know and a couple of singles. And she was like, let's let's share this deal. You know what I'm saying? So we did, we both developed our own like, you know, labels kind of kind of yeah. hers was called Pick and Nini and ours was called Rumble. So our first, you know, EP came out on a label called Rumble Pickinini that was backed by New Groove Alliance up in up in the Bay. Okay, you know what I'm saying, and it was simply because she asked us if wow. we wanted to share that, which I thought was amazing, and that That's dope. that definitely helped us. You know, what I'm saying in in pushing it. So that EP got picked up again in Europe oh, by okay. Play It Again Sam, and it was the same EP, but we just added a couple of little you know bells and whistles yeah, to make yeah, it nice. Yeah. And they treated it like an album, dog. I couldn't. I was tripping on that, man, because I'm like, okay, that's about seven songs in a time when you, Cats is coming with 17 songs, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They took them songs and, and treated it like, you know, an album. They gave us money for videos. I mean, we was flying over. We felt like we lived in Europe. 
I felt like our career really popped over there first. To okay. The truth. So it was crazy. It was real crazy. And then you went from that album to going to Interscope, correct? Yeah. And that, at that particular time, me and Cut Chemist in two different groups, right? Yeah. Um, and our other group gets picked up by Interscope um, on, on a default. You know what I'm saying? So it was like they saw us looking at us like, oh, man, you know, what are they part of? Yeah, they got this some big conglomerate stuff. And then they checked out Jurassic success overseas. And we you know, we didn't kind of need to have the success here. I mean, are we, of course we needed it. But I'm just saying, like, we, we, we didn't need them at the time. Yeah, they yeah. Was, they, it was kind of like they was jumping on the bandwagon, so to speak. But it was cool because it was like, oh, now we can get our music to everybody in the States, like how it's gotten you know, over in Europe and in the UK, man, the Europe and the UK really, you know, took to the sound and I'm just forever grateful to them. You know what I'm saying? For yeah, real. that's, that's no dope. Question. So you, you got signed in Interscope mm-hmm. and you dropped what is quality control, correct? Yeah. Yep. And yes, would you say that's your best album? I don't know, man. I mean, people got different views, man. I, I love that album because it was the- What's your favorite album? The, my, pay, my favorite is Power Numbers, man. Okay, <laughs> okay, favorite. okay, That's okay. Favorite, but your favorite song is, one of your favorite songs was Golden. Was Golden, yeah. And that was on Power Numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Golden. So sure. let's so let's get into it then. Since, like I said, my favorite song, Concrete School Yard, was kind of what put me on to you guys. Yeah, yeah. And of course, Quality Control is one of those ones that you've seen videos for a lot. It was a heavy rotation. But then what's Golden? was like, okay. All right. Now, let me set this disclaimer out. There. Okay. All the it. people out there listening right now, I am not dumping down on anything we've done. I love Quality Control album, for sure. It was the corner. It was the, the cornerstone, yeah. for sure. And it was a bunch of, of things that we did that I didn't think possible. You know what I'm saying? And, and so I'm, I'm definitely happy. But as far as, like, enjoying our work, man, Power Numbers is my favorite album. I'm sorry. That's what it so is. let's get into the favorite joint off that album. Let's get into what's golden, Jurassic yes, 5. My man Charlie Tuna in the building, White Labor Radio. Let's go. Check it out now. Check it out now. 